what's going on YouTube um, here recently I just bought this new fishing kayak been trying to get into it and uh, this is what I got and I'm gonna show you um, all the modifications I did it for me my setup um, this is a 10 foot pelican bouncy 100 angler uh, fishing kayak get it at Academy for $279 plus tax probably right at $300 uh, doesn't come with a paddle I was there bought a $30 paddle uh, it's Magellan I'll probably upgrade it later but I'm not too concerned with it that much right now um, but yeah just want to go over this real quick show you all the modifications I did for it um, so let's get right at it or right at it um, first got camera mat here um, that'll set up any kind of GoPro or whatever looks like I have to adjust it just a little bit but I'll do that later um, got some pad eyes here and a uh, carabiner hooked up to my leash for my paddle uh, got the rod paddle holder here uh, went ahead and did some more securing the bungee a little hook there for that um, this particular boat comes with two rod holders already here and on the other side of here um, if you want more you can obviously buy more uh, rod holders if you want but two is good enough for me so uh, added some more pad eyes back here for my rod leashes there there and there um, this one right here is just for my um, tackle obviously uh, just so it won't go anywhere That's, that thing's not going anywhere uh, I went with a basic tackle setup um, I don't know if you guys are aware if you're interested in looking at this kayak um, as far as I'm concerned or as I'm aware this kayak does not hold the standard crate milk crate that you usually see so um, just think about that when you are looking at this particular kayak but this uh, works out for me gets pockets everywhere um, has pockets on the inside so fish grips pliers and a knife I'll probably put some more stuff in there later but um, yeah that works out good for me and I got more storage in the back here just in case I want to put some other stuff in there maybe a cooler full of beer or whatever um, this kayak comes with these two handles here I thought about going with the other kind uh, the rubberized one you can pull like this, but this works. It'll be all right. I'll probably never use those anyway um, On to the other side here As you can see I've got my anchor trolley System from the stern all the way up to the bow here um, Did that the other night um, This one uh, I believe came from yak gear. It's a uh, sold at Academy as well um came with this exact cleat so i used it it's pretty tight it's it's on there pretty good so it works the only thing i didn't like is it comes with this plastic triangle uh you're supposed to hook up to your i got it hooked up to my carabiner that goes to my anger i'm not too thrilled about that so i may just change it out to the steel um but we'll see what happens i'll try it see what happens with it um i've got my anchor's actually hooked up to uh, 550 paracord, 100 foot of 550 paracord. And it goes in there really well, like that. Um, then I hooked it up to a float and it's a three pound uh, anchor there. So fits in there real nicely and it's out of the way. Um, see, I've got my dry bag there I've got a net I'll probably get a bigger net later that's a little small fold-up net so um, I'll probably get something else later um, got my PFD here gotta have that and let's look at this seat now I like the look of the seat it's it's pretty cool looking but to me it's not very comfortable I mean you sit in there pretty good but it's just uh, I, I don't know I think they got, I, mean, I know it's a cheap kayak, but I think they cheaped out on this just a little bit. I think it needs a little bit more padding to me, so I'll probably change that out later myself. Um, but it works for now, I guess. Um, 
this kayak also has these sliding knee pads comes with it so you can rest your knees without you know almost killing yourself in this boat so there's the other one there I can't really move that one right now because of those bungees but that's where I need it anyway uh, this boat also has the adjustable foot pedals you can see that in there it's on both sides so and it goes in there pretty deep the only other thing I can think of that I don't really care for on this one is and I know we see them all over the place these kayaks and I don't know why they do them but they're dry storage it's just not I, just, I don't know about it not very deep it's not waterproof I mean I guess you can make it a little bit more resistant but um, I'll probably never use that and if I did I'll probably make some adjustments and cut that out a little bit and put a bag in there um, but it's there I guess if you need it um, one last thing the only thing this kayak did come with besides the seat is this rod holder um, it clips put your rod in there turn it sorry like that and then lock it in lock your rod in sorry so and that just goes right in here it's not gonna go anywhere um, you can adjust it turning that little wheel there just turn it that way and you can go up or down or whatever you want to do with it um, I guess it's all right so anyhow again there's not too many videos on this particular kayak that I have seen on YouTube so I just want to go over it and just show you that you can do modifications to this one um, this is probably gonna work out well for me but it may not work out for everybody so anyhow Thanks for watching.